In the evolutionary model, simple cells would precede complex cells in the fossil record. In contrast, in the creation model, all types of cells, simple and complex, have always existed and could be found in any layer of rock. The first fossils of life on Earth date to 3.5 billion years ago. These fossils are only prokaryotic cells, the simplest type of cell alive today. The eukaryotic cells, those which make up animals, fungi, plants, and large unicellular protists, these types of cells are not present when fossils are first known, nor are they present until about 2 billion years ago. In other words, about 1.5 billion years, a third of the history of life on Earth, is, cons consists only of prokaryotic cells. There were no other forms of life which have been found as fossils during this vast length of time. In the evolution model, humans and unicellular organisms are not only related and therefore should share certain features, they are related in a nested hierarchy pattern. In other words, humans would be more related to some microorganisms than others. In contrast, in the creation model, humans and all unicellular organisms are not related and they are equally unrelated so not only are similarities not expected there is certainly no pattern of similarities which is expected in the design model there is no nested hierarchy of relationship between organisms because no such relationship is possible cells could not have some but not all of the aspects of a complex trait the first fossils of life on earth date to 3.5 billion years ago. These fossils are only prokaryotic cells, the simplest type of cell alive today. The eukaryotic cells, those which make up animals, fungi, plants, and large unicellular protists, these types of cells are not present when fossils are first known, nor are they present until about 2 billion years ago. In other words, about 1.5 billion years, a third of the history of life on Earth, is, cons consists only of prokaryotic cells. There were no other forms of life which have been found as fossils during this vast length of time. In the evolution model, complex cells could evolve in a series of steps. In the creation model, Complex cells simply did not evolve in a series of steps. In the design model, it is impossible that complex cells could evolve in a series of steps, so this simply could not happen. There are a number of genetic mechanisms which are known to com increase complexity. So, for example, mutations, gene duplications, genome duplications, uh, the assorting of exons and uh, gene segments to create multi-domain proteins, all of these can increase complexity. And endosymbiosis is a process by which larger cells can engulf uh, smaller cells in a symbiotic relationship in which both benefit. It certainly seems as if the mitochondria and chloroplasts of eukaryotic cells are the descendants of bacteria which were ingested by ancestral eukaryotic cells which entered into endosymbiotic relationships.